This nugget is on the carbon cycle. The cycling of substances is an essential process in an ecosystem. This is sometimes called the nutrient cycle. It is how substances move around in the ecosystem. In this nugget, we are looking at the cycling of carbon. Carbon is a chemical element. It is a non-metal and a solid at room temperature. Carbon is one of the most abundant elements on Earth and vital for life. Mass is always conserved in processes and chemical reactions. This means that mass is never created or destroyed. Here is a simple chemical reaction. You can clearly see that there is one carbon atom before the reaction and afterwards, just as there are two oxygen atoms before and after. All that's happened is the atoms have rearranged. This means that all the carbon atoms on Earth are all that we have. They must cycle round and round to make sure the different processes have all the carbon that they need. There are two processes that add carbon to the atmosphere. Respiration and combustion. Respiration is a chemical reaction that releases energy from glucose. Glucose plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water and energy is released. The arrow for respiration looks like this because energy cannot be created or destroyed, therefore it cannot be a product or a reactant. Glucose and oxygen are the reactant, carbon dioxide and water are the products. Carbon dioxide and water are the waste products. Glucose, the chemical formula, is C6H12O6. It's a type of sugar. Energy is used for the life processes. So remember, there are two processes that add carbon to the atmosphere, respiration and combustion. Combustion is also known as the process of burning. It is a rapid reaction between a substance and oxygen that releases heat and light. Fuel plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. And it releases heat and light energy. These two processes are very, very similar. Both react with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water and release energy. There are also two processes that remove carbon from the atmosphere, dissolving in the oceans and photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process plants use to make glucose. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to produce glucose and oxygen. Light energy is needed to start the reaction. Glucose is a store of chemical potential energy. Respiration is the chemical reaction that releases that energy. So to recap, processes that add carbon to the atmosphere, respiration and combustion, the processes that remove carbon from the atmosphere are photosynthesis and dissolving. Now let's look at this in more detail. There are lots of arrows and it's easy to be alarmed, but if you break it down into sections, it's easy to understand. Remember, one of the ways carbon leaves the atmosphere is by carbon dioxide dissolving in the oceans. Once it has dissolved in the water, producers can use it for photosynthesis. This makes carbon available to the consumers who eat the producers. Death and decay passes the carbon to the decomposers. All living organisms, plants, animals and microorganisms, respire. Respiration returns the carbon dioxide to the water, where it could be used for photosynthesis, or come out of the ocean and go back into the atmosphere. If dead organisms decay when there isn't any oxygen around, fossil fuels are made. When carbon dioxide dissolves, it makes carbonic acid, and then carbonates are produced. These are used by some marine organisms to make their shells. The carbonates 
either in the ocean or in shells, can be deposited in layers which eventually formed limestone. Humans remove the fossil fuels to generate electricity and power vehicles. Combustion of these fuels returns carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Animals consume carbon by eating it. When they die, they decay. Decomposers and animals release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere when they respire. Plants remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere via the process of photosynthesis and they return it when they respire. There are three important carbon sinks. Carbon sinks store carbon and carbon compounds. The first is the soil. The second is the ocean. And the third is vegetation. So plants like trees. This is a detailed diagram of the carbon cycle. Let's look at a simplified version, which is closer to what you would see in an exam. We have the atmosphere, the ocean, rocks, fossil fuels and human activities. But this time the producers, consumers and decomposers are all lumped together. Let's look at the exchange between the ocean and the atmosphere first. Carbon dioxide dissolves in the ocean to remove it from the atmosphere but carbon dioxide can also come out of solution and return to the atmosphere. From the ocean, carbon can find itself locked away in sedimentary rocks. If there is decay when no oxygen is present, fossil fuels are produced. Now let's look at the exchange between producers, consumers and decomposers and the atmosphere. Carbon is removed from the atmosphere by photosynthesis and returned by respiration. Decay when there is no oxygen produces fossil fuels. Now let's look at the exchange between human activities and the atmosphere. Humans remove fossil fuels and they burn them, so carbon is returned to the atmosphere by combustion. In an exam, you might see an even more simplified version of the carbon cycle. If you check where the carbon is coming from and where it is going, you can work out the process. For example, process A. The carbon is starting as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and is going into green plants. Which process removes carbon from the atmosphere into green plants? Photosynthesis. Now your turn. Pause the video and see if you can name the other processes. B, C, D, E, F and G. Here are the answers. B is going from green plants to microorganisms. This is actually the same answer as F, where the carbon moves from animals to microorganisms. This is decay. You can also say death and decay. C is going from green plants to the atmosphere. It is actually the same process as E and G. When carbon dioxide moves from a living thing to the atmosphere, this process is respiration. D is going from green plants to animals. This is feeding. You could also say eating or consumption. To summarise, the carbon cycle describes how carbon moves through ecosystems. Carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere by photosynthesis and dissolving in the oceans. Carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere by respiration and combustion. The ocean, forests and the soil are all carbon sinks. Keywords Producer, an organism that makes its own food using sunlight. Microorganism, 
a very small living thing, for example, bacteria. Glucose, a type of sugar. It is a store of chemical potential energy. Carbon sink, an area of vegetation, the ocean or soil, which absorbs and stores carbon. Respiration, a chemical reaction that releases energy from glucose. Photosynthesis, a chemical reaction that produces glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water. Combustion, a rapid reaction between a substance and oxygen that releases heat and light, also known as burning.